How can I bring love to perfection? Hi, I'm Kathy McGill. In today's 1% Challenge, we are going to briefly reflect on the first letter of John, chapter 4, verses 7 through 12. We'll begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, open the ears and eyes of my heart so that I may hear your words and understand them and fulfill your will. Amen. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we must also love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. The Greek word for love here is again agape. It appears in different forms 14 times in these six verses. Different from eros, or romantic love, and philio, love for a friend, agape is the love Christ showed us on the cross. How can this incredible love be brought to perfection in us? Seems like Christ dying on the cross is already perfect love. The Greek word that is translated as perfection also means complete or finish, to bring to a close or fulfillment, accomplish. Christ did not die on the cross for his own benefit. As John said, he died as expiation, that is atonement for our sins. By accepting this agape and sharing it with others, we complete the task begun by Christ. With Christ's love remaining in us, we can bring it to fulfillment in our families, communities, and the world. Today, I will be mindful of how I allow Christ's agape to remain in me. I will choose to love others with that same agape love and allow God to use me to bring his love to completeness. Won't you help me spread the good news? Like or share this video. May God's peace be with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.